Today brings with it yet another update for Threadripper. Yes, I know we've been talking about it an awful lot lately, but we have yet more news, some of which is quite interesting. The first of which is actually a confirmation from another source that the Ryzen Threadripper chips will be available on the 10th of August. And of course, AMD are going to be releasing X399 on the same day to basically make sure that if you are going to be going with Threadripper, you have pretty much everything you need to get going. The other news is actually regarding cooling. Ryzen Threadripper will all ship, all of them, with a liquid cooling solution. Now, the, we don't yet know if there's going to be a Threadripper only version without the bundled cooler, but at the moment it sounds like all the launch variations of the chip are going to be launching with a new cooler all of its own. And basically it's because it's so large, and yes that is what she said. But seriously, the CPU is twice the size socket of a regular desktop CPU that basically some coolers might not even physically fit due to how close the topmost PCIe slot is. So basically, some coolers just aren't going to be able to cover how big Threadripper actually is. Now they did actually show off some coolers, or Noctua did, and basically the contact plate is huge, like way bigger than a traditional contact plate that you're probably used to for, well, pretty much every build since the builds have existed. So if for some reason you want to replace the built, sorry, the shipped in cooler, or they do end up doing a Threadripper on its own, you will of course have to purchase one of the new range of coolers that are being created. So the long and short of all of this is that Threadripper having its own dedicated type of cooler isn't just AMD being difficult, it is purely, hey, this chip is really huge, a traditional cooler just isn't going to work most of the time. You know, some might, but the, I'd say the range of normal coolers that will work is probably going to be fairly limited and that's why they're shipping it with the actual chips at the start and they might end up doing a range of hey here's the chip but they're probably going to say be sure to only use x chips with this chip uh, sorry x coolers with this chip because yeah you're going to be a bit sol without it and obviously they aren't just giving us any old cooler they are giving us a liquid cooling solution as well which you know given that the thread of chips feature tdps of 180 watts there's going to be quite a lot of muscle put into keeping those beasts cool and obviously it does contribute a little bit to the cost of the chips whereas obviously we already know this but just want to refresh your memory the 16 core 9050x will cost a thousand dollars with 12 core 1920x will cost $800, but although that is fairly expensive, they are still cheaper than Intel's offerings within the same marketplace. So, for those of you who have been holding off waiting for Threadripper to upgrade your build, 10th of August, save the date, as it's definitely going to be an interesting one for the PC gaming marketplace, and I look forward to seeing the tussle between AMD and Intel once more. I'm glad that that tussle has become more competitive lately, as competition is good for everybody involved, including us, the consumer. So, with all that said, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.